Frankie, today we got two good Macs and two bad Macs. The other way around. Today on Box Macs. Cauliflower Max. Help! Just throw them away. <laughs> but what if Kraft made it not complete crap? We have a white cheddar, a and, white we, cheddar. and we have an original. Really small boxes. These are 5.5 ounce boxes. Do you think there's like a lot of parents out there that say, sure, we can have mac and cheese, but it's got to be cauliflower? I mean, it's still cheese, first of all, yeah. right? This does use the new prep, which is the half butter prep. But oh. that's only ever been a suggestion. It is, but we're gonna follow it, of course. Yeah. But even though they say two tablespoons of butter, they have four pats of butter. You know, in politics, they call that a dog whistle. <laughs> is that what they call that? <laughs> and it says a quarter cup serving of veggies. Are we gonna find veggies in this thing? No, I think or... it's just, it's been skillfully integrated into the pasta. So they look like perfectly normal pasta. Why don't you try one? There's definitely a cauliflower taste to it. As a child, I used to actually eat dry pasta. Just like chips. Yeah, spaghetti specifically. We need to take like a big like stock of them. <laughs> no, just one at a time. Or Eat them like a panda. They're thin enough that they're not gonna like give you a total like, you know, like ah rah, rah, and they're tasty. I don't know what that meant. Try one, Frankie, and you'll see what I mean. Cause it takes a bit of like serious toothing to Oof. break it. Spaghetti, when it's thinner, doesn't have that. That's what I'm talking about, ah rah, rah, rah. You don't need ah rah, 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 like you're, you know. Everything makes sense now. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, already. The only way I like cauliflower is pickled. So if you pickle that cauliflower in a dill or a sweet pickle. Salt it. Oh, I love it. Another thing I don't actually mind is cauliflower with cheese. So in that way, I guess that we're... Ugh. No? No, no, sorry, I still have a... Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty, like, cauliflower averse. Yeah? How do you feel in comparison to broccoli? Broccoli's like the, the closest neighbor. Strongly prefer broccoli. There was a Velveeta broccoli. Yes, it was, it was perfectly good. fine. It was yeah. Let's talk about a towel pasta. Yeah, because we do have two more Macs today. And I don't know the difference between the two we were sent. Yeah, these are very different packaging. They're both from Canada, because this one says Canadian whole wheat. Yep. And then this one has French all over it. They may be identical. We don't know. Maybe it's just a rebranding. Would you take the risk of just putting them in one pot? No, I mean, I already got some pots going at this point, you know. It would be a waste of pots. It would be a waste of pots. Now that pot's legal. Boy, is one overzealous pot ready to rock. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> that pot is ready to go. Hey, you want me to do some mac and cheese? I'm gonna do some mac and cheese. That's pretty good. I can impersonate inanimate objects really well. This pot's just wiggling. See the wiggling pot back here? <laughs> It's twerking. Have we ever had a wiggling pot on the show before? <laughs> it is twerking. We got a twerking pot. That pot's ready to drop it. And then we gotta put in... <laughs> one noodle like catapulted out of that pot and into that one. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Hey, speaking of that, you ever go to a restaurant and there's like a piece of some completely different meal on your yes. plate? <laughs> that happens a lot with fried food. You order like french fries and there's a yeah. piece of fish in it. You order pancakes and there's like a french fry on your plate. Yes, a single bare penne, like yeah. with, yeah. with no sauce. Yes! John Hart at work at the documentation. Mm -hmm. I'm the executive sponsor of this project. John's the manager. Yep, so the weekly report is that three of the four Macs are now in boiling form. The fourth should be ready very shortly. Uh, <sighs> What should I be worried about? Seven to nine minutes. You could be worried about overboil. That's a legitimate risk at this point. I don't trust any of my team who tells me there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> and I never give an A. These are the personality types in the world. <laughs> a teacher and a boss. Yeah. Together at last. Same f Are you Facebook friends with any teachers you had in high school? I am. Are you noticing how unfit they really were for teaching now? Yes. That now that you, now that like I have the, the guise of adulthood to say. <laughs> You're like, oh my, oh my God. God. They're nuts. I don't think they understand the graces of social media either. You know, because no. they're all old because we're old, you know. Yeah. The ones that I'm friends with are like deeply politically biased. <laughs> yeah, like unabashedly. I guess you can have your strong preferences and still be a teacher, but yeah. like, I kind of always thought of teachers as like, there's a neutrality that's supposed to yeah. come with like, I'm here to teach you how to think and all that sort of stuff. Yes, but nay nay. Nay nay, penne. Penne. A penne with no sauce on it. Oh, one, single <laughs> one. <laughs> on the side of your high school. Like you ever get a high school and you just get a teacher that you didn't order? <laughs> Hey. I thought you were singing like Stanford and Sons theme song. Yes. You ever watched that show? No. It was a favorite of my grandfather's. You know how I know about it the most? How? When I was a kid on Fox, I think. Yep. There was a really long commercial about like buy a lot of Sanford and Sons. Yes, like a huge VHS collection. <laughs> yes. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Really? Your first video is only $4.95 with subscription and contains four hilarious episodes. It includes graphic content. They want sangria, man. It means blood. And 
is partially available in Espanol. Buenos dias, huh? And beans and disease to you. They must have made like a million of them and then really had to move them because they had that commercial on yeah. for years. And it was one of those long commercials. It was like, yeah, like Sanford and it Son. It would take a whole segment yeah. between yeah. a show. Like yeah. when normally we'd have three yeah. different commercials. You like just get one Sanford and Son. Five minute Sanford and Son VHS collection commercial. <laughs> They're acting like I've seen this show. Yeah, <laughs> like I know it and I really love it. I knew a lot of people who owned Star Trek The Next Generation in full on VHS. Oh yeah, I own some of it. I had a friend who had Monty Python's Flying Circus on VHS, yeah. the whole thing. It was a cool collector's piece because it kind of wrapped around the, per yeah. the yeah. perimeter of his bedroom. They cook it about the same. Actually, it doesn't taste that bad. What if, once you mix the cheese into the cauliflower pasta, yeah. you don't taste any of that sort of veggie residue? I'm, actually, I'm not getting a lot of veggie residue out of the noodle I just tasted. And then what you got is like, Pretty standard Kraft mac and cheese, yeah, but considerably fewer calories. Well, we can just compare it to this one, which is a standard prep. Echo, what's 21 over 28? 21 divided by 28 equals 0 0.75. So it's it's 25% less. 25%. Isn't that much? Especially because they're using half the butter. Yeah, and you're putting me through cauliflower hell. Yeah. I guess it's like, well, my kids will eat it, so I'm gonna sneak in some cauliflower. Yeah. I think that's exactly what it is. It would be nice, though, if they could figure out like a perfectly tasty mac and cheese that's like, very low calorie. Like the Splenda of macaroni and cheeses? Well, I used to eat the Lean Cuisines. Yeah, they're not was, bad. They're, I mean, the portion was just tiny. You eat, yeah, and that's the magic of it. How's the noodles, Franken? I don't know. Aren't you supposed to taste the noodles? <laughs> I thought I was just a... Uh, just sitting here, looking pretty? Even after all these episodes, I'm not very good at tasting one noodle. Not without, like, burning my palm. Burning your precious? That should be my Twitter handle, at Precious Hands. It totally should. Look, damn I'm, it. I'm already done by the yeah, time. Yeah, I can't get it done. It's on the floor. Frankie, would you put a milk? A milk, a milk, a lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. Stick your finger in the hole. Pull it out a Tootsie Roll. Oh, that's new to me. <laughs> Echo, living room fan 100%. It's a weird limitation in the fan that you can't tell it to turn on. But you, you can set it. it to 100%. Now watch me mix. I'm <laughs> watch me nay nay. That's nice, Frankie. I like that. I definitely notice an air of cauliflower going on here. You, you know? smell it. Does everybody smell cauliflower? It's blowing that steam. That steam, though. Yeah, steam cauliflower. Steam for the steamed cauliflower we're having. That meme's dead. No, it's not. Why don't you just say, you don't know the way and all that? <laughs> <laughs> or BitConnect. Is that the guy who was real psyched about? About BitConnect, yes. <laughs> BitConnect! I love that guy. <laughs> it was great. The Spanish dude? He's a completely unaddressed meme in our in our red cow content. I mean, we're not 4chan here. No. We're not here to address all memes. We're here to focus on memes we enjoy. Which could be old. Like uh, us. Frankie, would you move on to the next pop, please? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of enjoying <laughs> that one. <laughs> it off with that pot, so they have 25 minutes. Just pounding my pot with this pot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's all in there, stir it! <laughs> Looks good. I think I'm gonna sh off with it a little longer. Hey look, it's John's floppy disk. I love that thing. I use it as a pillow all the time, head pillow. These look good. Yeah, the towels do look good. Yeah, the towels. By the way, are they identical? They look pretty darn close. This one looks darker. A little that, bit that, darker. That could be a, a consequence of sitting. Let's start with the uh, towel pastas. Right. So let's start with the one that has like the French on it. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, it's got like strong preservative chemical taste. Chlorinated almost. All right, let's tastes, try the other one. Tastes wrong. It's better. Tastes to me. Not like a ton better. But that chemical is still like very present for me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I can taste it. It's very clear. All right, cauliflower, you have a real shot here. <laughs> yeah, you do. White, White cheddar. cheddar. White cheddar. It's really not bad. They've made a very strong cheese flavor, yeah, I think, to, to cover the cauliflower. They sure did. That's why it's only 25% lower calorie. I find it tasty, to it's be honest. It's pretty good. If they served you this, you wouldn't know it was cauliflower no. or anything. The subtle bit of cauliflower we were tasting completely nulled out. <clears throat> Try the other one. Yeah, I mean, same sort of concept. Yeah, it's it's not as strong as the white cheddar, certainly. Yeah. It tastes to me like just regular Kraft mac and cheese, Kraft cheese. In this one, I do taste the cauliflower mac a little more. Just a little bit. Yeah. But the pasta has really good texture. I can't complain about the texture like with a lot of rice pasta. I just went back to it. Go back to the white real quick. Now that you've had the original, you'll be like, wow, that's strong white cheddar. Yeah, it is. It's probably the strongest. strongest white cheddar I've ever had in a Mac. It's not a bad idea, you know? Don't make something that much healthier. I'm not against it. Well, the white cheddar cauliflower Mac of these Macs wins. By far. And the Kraft original's okay. The Italpas is just stay away from. They're weird. Weird and chemically, both of them. Yeah, and that's that's a double blind placebo 
<laughs> it's not real. But... <laughs> so what we got coming up? I happen to know exactly what we have coming up. We've got some IGA, and far in the future, more Australians. That time, a box bag. Me to do some I'm gonna 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 do